Hey there Dev Squad Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up a screen, uh, a screen within your game when the game is over. So having said that, once the player trips over and they dies after hitting an obstacle, it is going to take them to this game over screen that you can see here, it's going to tell them they have died, it's going to tell them how many coins they've collected, the score and let them restart the game or return to the menu if that's something that they want to do. Now before we can go any further with this you need to make sure you have the latest version of the assets for this series. If you don't have this already once again just go ahead and check out the link in the description. Within here we have an end game folder and in here you have a couple of icons that's going to be used in the UI for this. So, once you're ready, go into Unreal Engine 4 and then within here, within your runner files folder in your content browser, add a new folder called UI. Once you've done this, open it up and add another folder with the name end game. Just like that, end game with no spaces. Open it up and what I want you to do is to import these graphics that you've got here. So, select every one of these, just press Ctrl A to select all of them, and then just drag and drop them into your content browser to import them in there. Now that we've done this, what I'm going to do is create a widget blueprint which is actually going to contain all of the graphics and all of the functionality to show the score, show the coins and all of that good stuff. So right click in your content browser within this folder, go to user interface and add a widget blueprint. Give us the name Game Over or game over screen, rather, if you have any issues with that. And then once we've done this, what you're gonna do is just press enter to open it up. And what we can do is start placing those assets into our screen. So what I'm gonna do is take a quick look at the sort of finished picture so I know what assets I'm gonna need. First of all, I'm gonna need a image for the game over. I'm gonna need some text to say all these bits. I'm gonna need a couple of buttons as well. So I'm just gonna place those in. So, within our design view, and if you guys aren't comfortable using the UI editor inside of Unreal Engine 4, I definitely do advise you check out my UI series, as within here you'll learn to do loads of stuff. But for now, I'm going to add in an image for the game over. So, drag in the image from your palette on the top left hand corner, and then under appearance in your details panel and brush, set your image to game over and it should be the little texture that you've set already. Now as for the image size, copy what you've got down here up into the slot at the top. So 606 on the size X and 341 on the size Y. And then what I want you to do is to anchor this to the left hand side of your screen just like that and place it in. Once you've done this, we can start adding in the other elements. So the other elements are going to be three more images for each of those icons that we've got. And then we're also going to have two buttons at the bottom as well. One for restarting and then one for going to the main menu once we've set that up. So we've got these in here. Let's start off with the first icon. So the first image, we are going to set this to coins icon the one that we imported earlier. Once again, we're getting the size from here. So 55 by 57 for the size X and Y. For the next image, we're gonna be using the score icon. Get the size again. So 55 by 57, just like that. And once again, what you wanna do is just make sure you are anchoring all of this stuff to the left hand side of the screen so it all sticks in place together. For the last icon, you're going to be using the high score icon and set that size again, but this time the size X and Y is 47 by 49 to get that right size and we're good. And what we're going to do now is quickly set up the appearance for the buttons as well. So for the buttons, for the first one, if you check, it is restart. So what you want to do is go into here, into Unreal Engine 4, and go to your details panel, go to style, appearance, and for the normal, you want to start, you want to assign this to restart button, just a regular normal one. 
set your margin to zero, and once again we're going up to the top and we're pasting in the image size from here into our size X and Y, so it comes out the way I've set it up in Photoshop. So we're going to set this to 372 by 91. And then we're going to anchor it to the left hand side. And then what we've got to do then is go to the hover image and we're going to be using the second image. So restart hovered, set that margin down to zero and we're good. And then for the pressed image, we are just going to use that regular restart button with the margin set to zero and we're good to go there. Now just for that menu button, go to normal, set this to menu button, margin down to zero, get your image size up uh, down here and place it into your size X and Y. So 372 by 91 and that's just going to make our button the size that I've set it up in Photoshop again. And then all we're doing is going into our hovered and setting this to menu hovered, margin down to zero and lastly for your pressed we are just going to use the normal button. So what we've basically done here is we've set up a couple of buttons and we've just got it transitioning between different images for the different states. So normal is going to be the normal look of the button. Hovered is when your mouse is over it and then pressed is going to be once you've clicked it or that split second when you've clicked it. What you should have is a screen that looks a little bit like this. Now what I'm not going to do for now is put in the functionality to show the score. I want to focus on actually getting this displayed on the screen. So what I'm going to do is compile this and then what I'm going to do is go to my third person BP folder, go to my third person character and then I'm going to open up my def function by double clicking on it on the left hand side. And after this code we've got here to make him trip up, we are going to create a widget by dragging out from the execution pin, set the class to the one that we've just created which is game over screen, and then for the return value you want to add this to the player's viewport. And what this is going to do is it's just going to add that game over screen to the screen so the player can see it. So now if we go ahead and open up the runner level if you haven't already got it open, making sure you save everything that you've just done, you are going to see when we trip over, so if we just go ahead and walk into a pipe, it is going to display the screen here, you've got all your icons on the left hand side, it says game over, and we have got access to these buttons here to go restart the level, go to the menu once we set up the functionality for that. So for now that is pretty much the basics of our return to menu screen. So what we can do is we can start actually adding in the functionality. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to my UI folder and open up my game over screen. And what I'm going to do is add in the score and the number of coins collected. As for the high score, that is going to be something that we'll be adding in a separate video. So let's add in some text. And if you check the completed image, it should say coins collected, and that's what I'm going to add. So content for this text is going to be coins collected, just like that. And we're going to place it in just there. Going to add in another piece of text, and this one is going to be you scored, just like that and place it in. So now for actually placing the number of coins on there, uh, the way we're going to be doing this is by adding in another piece of text, separate text, we're going to set the default value in the details panel for the content to three zeros, place it in where we want it and give it the color of yellow to make sure it's nice and different from the rest of the text using our color picker and then press OK. As for defining the actual number of coins, we're going to create a binding and within here we basically just need to add access to the variable where it's stored and link it up. Now for us that was all within the third person game mode, so what I'm going to do is from within our get text 0 
we are going to cast to the third person game mode. As the third person game mode, we are going to get coins for the top one and hook that up to our return node, set your minimum integral digits to 3 and turn off your grouping. For your object wildcard, set this to get game mode and we are good. So if we compile this now, press play and then run into our box to get ourselves killed, you should be able to see it does say our coins. At the moment it's saying zero because we didn't pick any up. So if I actually go into the game, pick up a couple of coins and then run into the box to get myself killed, it's going to say coins collected is free. It's doing exactly what we want it to do. So now all we've got to do is go back into our design view and just do the same thing for our score. So go into here, add another piece of text with the default content being three zeros. Set your color using the color picker to the same yellow used everywhere else. Press OK and then create a content binding for this and once again we need access to the third person game mode so cast to third person game mode and as third person game mode get the score or get points uh, so get current points and hook this up into your return value once again turn off grouping set minimum integral digits to three and your object wildcard should be get game mode and what you should have, if we go into our game now, is something that looks a bit like this and we are good to go. Now before I do end off the video, what I do want to make sure you do, which is really important, is that every one of these assets that you make within this UI, make sure you anchor it to the left hand side of the screen. So that way, even when you're working on mobile, it is still going to group together on the left hand side of the screen so make sure you've done that with all of these your buttons your text and all of that good stuff with this restart button what I'm gonna do is quickly add some functionality to make it restart the level so you can play again so create an event for on clicked and then what we're gonna do is simply use a console command with the command restart level in there and what this is going to do is simply restart your level once they click the button so if we die and i press restart give it a couple of seconds and we can play again and we're good to go anyway guys that is pretty much everything for our end game screen i hope you guys have enjoyed the video there's still loads more to come but once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.